What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. It's your boy Bullet Hound. Bring you guys another Elder Scrolls Online video. Yes, I did change my name. Don't judge me. I'm just, you know, experiencing new things and so forth. And I got plans for this new name. So yeah. Anyways, you guys, and I hope you guys like the like the channel art and stuff like that. It's pretty dope. You know, it's dope. Got my new damn uh, logo and shit like that. But anyways, let's get straight into this video. I know you guys don't want to hear me do all that shit and stuff like that. Anyways, um, this out uh, this will be inside the automated dominion instead of like the other ones um so it won't be an interesting so where i was trying to go to merchant would be in the western one it, that it's it's been spawning here for a long time so that's kind of that's kind of weird but yeah um again let me just show you guys um to check you guys uh alliances and stuff like that you just go right here to description to your character then click, then click on description um well you don't have to click on it you can just go to it and this will show you your race and your class and everything like that. I am a Nightblade, as you can tell from the skills. Now let's get straight into it. I know you guys don't don't want to hear me talk for the whole video, so let's get straight to it. Now you guys probably already saw all that, you know, they do have like a veil drift and stuff like that. I would be explaining um, what they have in there. Um, I mean, what they, what do they do and stuff like that. I don't want to explain everything because I don't know too much about this game. Uh, I'm still learning myself and um, even as like, you know, almost level 700, you know. I'm still learning myself. I did switch to PC and stuff like that, so that's why I'm not level 18 yet, so I'm gonna cry. Anyways, um, you guys can see right there, um, this is, uh, it does favor tanking, as you can tell. It has like a 4% healing taken and stuff like that, and you, when you block, um, you have a physical resistance and spell resistance, so this is probably good for tanking. You guys wanna um, just cop up that. I never saw someone wear it, but they probably do wear it, and they just, you know, um, I don't, I don't, I can't really tell, but I just haven't saw anyone wear it in my videos and stuff like that, that I watch or live stream, but they may, they may wear it. You just never know. Or it may be like a specific trial or um, dungeon that you need to wear this for. So yeah, I'll definitely probably get these if you can. Um, flame blossom. This is, um, I guess when you deal damage, you have a 10, uh, percent chance to summon a line of flame that moves forward after one second dealing uh 9300 damage so in this uh it has a long cooldown it is 10 seconds so i mean this is good for like pvp and stuff like that this is a a, a magic set as you can tell <laughs> the spell penetration and spell damage and the maximum magica but um in the recovery and all that but yeah i mean again this is probably good but at the same time <laughs> it's like a five piece set and that it is 10 seconds is a long time in a, in a pvp fight like you know and then what if it doesn't the person just dodge it and stuff like that and then you're not even around then you have to wait another 10 seconds and you have a 10 percent chance to summon it so it's not even even a guarantee you know so you know i can understand if you, if you do a direct hit but i don't i don't know i don't think i mean it may be worth it you never you never know you could probably create that new uh meta set but to me um I wouldn't buy. I haven't saw anyone with this ability, but it may be good. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so with Vampire's Cloak, it seems to be another um, another tanking set. It's favors tanking because uh, when you gain major protection at all times, reducing your damage taken. It, it could be tanking or just simply uh, defense. So I say tanking and defense will be good for this. This this also could be needed defense also, but. You know the ring of vampire cloak uh, i think this drops in river spring or the riff or i forgot the river spring the reaper's march is one of them i think this drops um river spring or the reaper's march this i saw this i saw this somewhere i'm just not 100 percent 100 percent sure where i saw someone with this with this set but i think it's good just do just do your own research about it just don't just don't really take, you know, it to the heart. Don't even take what I say to like the heart, you know, um, and say like, oh yeah, this is the ultimate, you know, thing. You should definitely get this. Do your research about these sets before, you know, you let anybody tell you like, oh, get them or grind for them and stuff like that, because it's probably not even worth it to you. It's not, it's not your playing, your playing style at all, you know. Uh, so yeah. So if it's not your playing style, now some people say like. Perfect Reliquin, Reliquin is good um, from like the Trial Cloud Rest, but at the same time, if you're not good with those stacks and stuff like that, it's, you're not going to do any damage at all. So it just depends, you know, who what type of player you are. 
this game is highly highly influenced by what type of player you are and they have sets for you uh so this is um i use this for tanking you could obviously use this for you know um pvp maybe you never know but i do use this for tanking i actually have this set on like right now uh, for my for my tank uh my dk tank uh, but yeah, this is um, this is this is pretty cool. You get you get some armor, you get some health, and you gain that big, big, massive, um, mass massive uh, major resolve. Uh, basically, you have major resolve at all times. It's not just when you taunt. It's not just when you do a heavy tech. It's um, it's all the time. As long as you have the armor equipped, you will have the major resolve. Basically, increasing your physical resistance and your spell resistance by 1500 so that's like that's like a lot that's really a lot uh it, it could probably save you in a lot of situations you know um definitely definitely be the last man standing <laughs> so this is veldrift this is a, a one of the uh, the popular uh sets that people use too uh on our on, on a stam character i haven't saw anyone use this on the magic character only stam but yeah this is one of the popular sets you could definitely just use this too it's basically um it's spawning, it gives you that weapon damage and also responds. It has a 20% chance to, to spawn disease spore, spores in front of you that deals 1300 damage. And um, yeah, this, uh, the effect occurred every like nine seconds. So it's not like too much of a long cooldown. Uh, you could definitely, if you get these to proc, you know, it's, it would definitely do a lot of damage. Definitely. Um, but yeah, these these are these are really good. I might cop up the, uh, cop up the heavy one. I think I am. Uh, yeah, let's just buy it right now. So, yeah, definitely bought the heavy one. Um, I just want to put it on my uh, Necromancer because he has the light. He has, um, I think he has the light or the medium one. But think about the light one or the medium one that, that uh, this passive right here. It doesn't give you that extra stamp like right here. I want this passive right here. Oh, which one is? No, it's right here. There you go. That's that extra passive right there, and I need it. So yeah, basically, when you have like light, heavy, medium armor on, um, per armor it gives you two two percent um, percent bonus. So yeah, so you have um, heavy armor on, give you that bonus. You have medium armor on, give you that bonus. You have light armor on, give you that bonus too. That's why I have. Do I have it here? I have heavy, another heavy medium and I, but I don't have a light now if I were to put this light one on you see my, my health my stand just increased so yeah that's that's like really good too but I'm gonna put on another one but think thing about that is um, I lose I, I'm not able to use my uh, my evasion what is it called what is it called where is it at I'm not able to use this the shuffle there the shuffle so yeah so i have to put those on but yeah if you're wondering why like some people have like you know light armor on and they're like, you know they're obviously a, a heavy build or something like that it, it's just because to get that extra bonus uh for that dante passive but yeah so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm not gonna go sh you know do a whole build guide and stuff like that but hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm out this bitch peace don't forget to leave a like and subscribe